count forward from a given number, we are going to use the foam mats. We previously worked on using the abacus as conceptual understanding. Now we're gonna turn that conceptual understanding and we're gonna move it towards more of an abstract concept, but we're still gonna scaffold a little bit because we will be using cards. So I'm going to turn over a card. Students are able to see the quantity of four by touching them if they need to. Some students might need that, some students might not. You might have students that say, that need to do say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And if that's where they're at, that's where they're at. We are here to practice. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And just doing this as quick warm ups, then it turns into students are understanding nine, 10, 11, 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then that will grow into 10, 11, 12, nine, 10, 11, seven, eight, nine. You can also have this grow into students can write this on their own. So they'll, can, they'll have a piece of paper and what they can do is they can use a dice I'm gonna start with a six-sided dice. This is where you can really differentiate in your classroom. If you give students a six-sided dice versus a 10-sided dice versus playing cards. So you can have students write six and the next number, seven, eight, nine. If it happens again, have them write it again. We're here to practice six, seven, eight, nine now at this age for kindergarten doing this i may have this printed out on a piece of paper just over and over and over to give students a frame to be able to write their number they rolled and then the next numbers so this is what it would look like if they were doing cards which is the same as the format there two they turn over a two they write that on the line you provide them two three four five and then eventually we can pull away the, the line. You can also turn this into, if you have students who are ready for larger numbers to do this on their own. 4108, 4109, 510, 1. Ooh, we just crossed over into another decade. Can be very tricky. 30. Seven, 38, 39, 40. So this is a great activity you can do to differentiate within the classroom. I also have a fun 30-sided um, die. Some days, all you need to do is put this under a dot cam, roll it, and have the students say it. 10, 11, 12, 13. One, two, three, four. Or have the teacher say seven and have the kids eight, nine, 10 or have the students say eight, nine, 10, 11. Bottom line, it's a great warm up to practice counting forward from a given number. Enjoy.